Hey, what's up? I'm currently archiving some stuff and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Here we go. So I have all of my videos for Productivity Shop on my Dropbox, but it's getting too big because the movies are quite large. So what I wanna do is place this on Amazon Drive S3, which is pretty cheap. These capture folders contain movies that are very large. You can see 3.1 gigabytes. It's gonna take forever to upload and it will most probably fail over a typical internet connection. So I'll show you what I do. I use this program called Kekka. It's a zip program, it's pretty cool. And basically you can split zip archives. So it'll take a large file and then it'll split it into little pieces which are easier to upload and then when you download it again you can easily put it together. So I'll show you how it works. What I'm gonna do is open up Kekka and I'll type 20 or 25 megabytes here. Not that. <laughs> and then I'll go ahead and go to the one that I'm working on now and I'm gonna go ahead and just zip the entire capture folder. So I'll put capture here. A little dialogue will come up and I'll do new folder and I'll call it capture zips and then I'll push compress. And then you can see that the files are starting to be compressed into a zip, but then they're each 25 megabytes. Pretty cool. So from there on my Amazon S3 storage, I go ahead and put the entire folder, but instead of putting the capture folder, I put the capture zips. And then from there, once it's uploaded, just to be super certain, I download the capture zips to my hard drive and then make sure I can open the downloaded version before deleting the zips from my personal computer and the capture folder. Since I use Dropbox and it's recently been up there, I could recover it that way, but I always like to double check that it downloads and opens successfully after uploading. This is very important. It's trauma from the past that, it, that I'm expressing. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, you can email me at hello at the productivity shop.co or join the productivity shop Slack channel. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.